Hi, Tom Trento here. It's October 2014. And as we know, the Islamic State is slaughtering its way across the Middle East and jihadists, Muslim jihadists worldwide, are running to Syria to join the fight. And there's a negative perception that human beings worldwide are now starting to have toward Islam. It's critically important for Americans to recognize that one organization, Council on American Islamic Relations, centered in Washington, D.C., headed up by Nihad Awad, a front group for the Hamas, which will be central in this new jihad that's hit the world. The way we're going to do that is have an unbroken line of continuity from a unique document that was produced in 1991 in Egypt, approved by the Muslim Brotherhood, submitted in 2008 in the Holy Land Foundation trial as evidenced by our federal government. And this evidence that we're going to present right now resulted in the conviction of five Muslim terrorists accused of and found guilty of funding Hamas. And in the center of this whole mess is the person of our subject, Nihad Wat. You see, that document written in 19. 91 called for the establishment of the Palestine Committee and the Palestine Committee was the organizing entity of the Holy Land Foundation the Holy Land Foundation was simply a charitable organization for raising Muslim money that would be sent some of it to the Hamas used in killing Jews in Israel that's why these guys went to jail that's why they're in jail now well, let's look back at the Palestine Committee and, and see who the principals were that oversaw the complete development, organization, implementation, continuation of the Holy Land Foundation charity. First off, we see that uh, uh, Musa Abu Marzuk uh, was the founder of the Palestine Committee. And this individual today, Marzuk, is the head of the political bureau of the Hamas in Gaza today. He runs that. He lives in New Cairo, Egypt, but recently in Operation Protective Edge, he was forefront and in the center of all the activity, running even the Qassam Brigades, a military division of the Hamas. He founded the Palestine Committee in the early 90s. He needed a couple of henchmen, a couple of right-hand men to help him form these other organizations. He goes to Omar Ahmed, his very close friend. And uh, Omar Ahmed assists in the founding of the Palestine Committee and the founding of several other entities, the subject of which is the Holy Land Foundation. Uh, well, who does Omar Ahmed and uh, Marzouk go to next to get the third person necessary to form these various organizations? They go to none other than the subject of our discussion, Nihad Awad. Nihad Awad, close friend and confidant of Omar Ahmed and Marzouk. Now Marzouk, in 1995, was a specially designated terrorist by President Bill Clinton. In 2001, Marzouk was designated by President Bush as a specially designated global terrorist. So from uh, 90, in, the, in the late 90s into 2001, Marzouk was simply a worldwide terrorist. Well, right around those times, even being not here in the United States, he formed the Palestine Committee with Omar Ahmed and Nihad Awad. What's the, uh, the money shot of all of this? Well, in 2008, the federal government of the United States had an extended trial and found five individuals guilty, put them in jail, and then found close to 300 other individuals and organizations as UCC, unindicted co-conspirators. Well, one of the unindicted co-conspirators is Omar Ahmed, still standing unindicted co-conspirator. Is Nihad Awad an unindicted co-conspirator? No, he avoided that. But he runs an organization called CARE, Council on American Islamic Relations in Washington, D.C., and the federal prosecutors and on appeal found that CARE 
is indeed an unindicted co-conspirator. Well, let's thicken the plot here. The Holy Land Foundation as an entity which was established and overseen by Marzuk, Omar Ahmed, and Nihadawad, and others. The Holy Land Foundation got its direction, its employees, its money, its rules, its resolution, everything from the Palestine Committee where Nihadawad was a main operator. The Holy Land Foundation charity was indeed found guilty with the other five defendants of funding terrorism. So let me make this real simple, folks. We have Nihad Awad helping run an organization that was convicted by the federal government of funding terrorism, and five of its key people are in jail now. But somehow Nihad Awad avoided even becoming an unindicted co-conspirator, though his organization, CARE, Council on American Islamic Relations in Washington, D.C., is a designated unindicted co-conspirator today. All right, what's the action step? Very simple. As the world awakens to Islamic Jihad and the threat doctrine of Islam, we're going to see more apologists, those defending Islam and Islamic doctrine, come to the surface. One of the foremost organizations in this country is CARE, Council on American Islamic Relations, headed by Nihad Awad. If you check the pedigree of Nihad Awad, he lived and breathed and worked with terrorists, forming terrorist organizations for terrorist purposes. Ought anybody in their right mind, let alone policymakers or politicians or religious people, listen to this man? You be the judge of that.